Sean Maloney is in the house. Sean. Thank you very much, Nick McArdle. Howdy, team. And happy to say we've got some red hot gear from around the rugby world tonight. Let's get her rolling at the weekend's London Sevens, where Star Wars was the dress-up theme at Twickenham. OK, yep, that's my cue to uh, get in the spirit of things. <laughs> Getting my Star Wars on. Don't laugh, don't make me look like a real clown. <laughs> Anyways, the USA were packing a weapon that had outrun the Millennium Falcon. Seriously, this bloke is doing the Kessler run in under 12 parsecs. Marlo! Carlin Isles, former Detroit Lions training. He was the, he was the fifth fastest runner over 100 in the States. They got him, what, three years ago now he's been playing sevens. One of the big reasons. What about that? One of the reasons they won the London Sevens. And then here he is, Injera. Collins Injera. 200 games, I think he's played. 200 in tries. 200 tries. 200 tries. 200 tries. 200 yeah, tries. Look at this. Look, he just put it in pocket. Yeah, <laughs> that's rock star. But hold on. No, I might sign this, like they do at Wimbledon. There you oh, go, cop a bit of that. What happened there, Shawnee? $170,000 worth of damage done by Collins Injera, the Kenyan fly out well done Collins uh, from sevens back to Super Rugby and our beloved Cheetahs found themselves under the pump against the Highlanders in Bloemfontein she was a strange old night in the higher belt the players enjoyed themselves, the Cheetahs coach Naka Joski, no, get a load of this, the big fella, he's wound up smashing the big mitts into the table, oh, that Powerade and my BFF Diet Coke can look, the Cheetahs are down 35 points men and Rhino Benjamin dials it in someone please explain Oh my goodness. What, you just don't do that, do you? Well, the kids yeah. like it. The coach, not so much. Nah, real makes bag tonight. Let's head north to Benetton Treviso, Italy, where the locals have the highly fancy Clanathley Scarlets on the rack in the Guinness Pro 12 match. Folks, this is the perfect example of why you never taunt or take the mickey until after you've scored. Henry Sinaloli, come on down. Gregan. You're a scrum half. Would you ever do this? Oh. You've got to dot it. You dot oh. it then. You just dot it. Just put the ball there and get the five points. And, and look and at him. He's pointing. He's, he's talking. No, for you. You, oh, you can and tackle. Oh, no, Henry, no. Right, our grassroots time in the undefeated Manly Marlins stage, the annual Ladies' Day at the weekend, where the halftime entertainment simply involved a tackle bag and a couple of happy customers. Sound fun? Well, it was. Let's get a look at this. Jacques Poitier, you talk us through the technique on Deb Melrose here. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Uh, I think she's got the dip going there. Uh, she's launching herself head first. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It looks just like oh. you. That's quite magic. Nice one, Deb. Uh, hello to you and to Tiny at the Manly Marlins. And now we go on to our last spot. It's a classic case of deja vu, Groundhog Day, whatever. <laughs> the Brumbies return from South Africa with a win and a loss. Well done, gang. Anyhow, the same thing happened in 2000. So I hit the tape library here at HQ to see who played on that tour, and I found this. Oh, hang on. Look uh. at George Gregan. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> do it. Don't you like moves? Nine six. Well, I found this. Oh, oh, that's that's your money. Money. oh, he didn't. He didn't recover from that. He struggled yeah. after this. Yeah. 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 Look at your chin, buddy. Oh. Justin Marshall with a high shot. Possibly the wrong shoulder, was it? That's yeah. the only thing uh, I got wrong. Right. Marshall, oh, man, that's the very good. The Matara Moore. Still with that nice little there tinge through the head. Got the mullet. Oh, going. Thank you, Shawnee. <laughs> thank you, man. Well, uh, you would have given it to JP that day too, wouldn't you? You would have turned around. Well, and he was an absolute god for. I would have. I would have. You know. Yes. I would have 100 yes. given him a god for. Yes, what are you thinking? Man? <laughs> I'm not a line out option. I'm just letting it mince around and distribute. <laughs>